Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am Karim, channel name Smell of Truth and thank you so much for passing by. Today with the review, with the comparison that you all have been waiting for. I know this gained a lot of hype last year and the hype slowly starts to come up again between the comparison of Yves Saint Laurent's Tuxedo and Rojas Moustache Eau de Parfum. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any great content anymore. Give this video a thumb up to support me and comment down below. Have you tried Tuxedo or Rojas Moustache or even both? I'm curious, let me know. Let's start with Tuxedo. The notes, how it smells, the top notes of Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo are violet leaf, coriander and bergamot. The heart notes are rose, black pepper and lily of the valley and the base notes are patchouli, ambergris and vanilla, bourbon vanilla. Demi Rowling said it is the sexiest fragrance she has ever smelled back then when she recorded the video. After she said that I was like I need it. I need it. Not only because she's an attractive woman also because she's one of the biggest fragrance reviewers in the game and I think currently the biggest female influencer in the fragrance community at least to my knowledge though after a time i heard about rojas moustache eau de parfum that this should be a straight up clone from yves Saint Laurent's tuxedo so my dumbass obviously purchased rojas moustache eau de parfum blind i also went for the big bottle though and i have to say it is really good it is really good rojas moustache quality top for this price top the official notes of rojas moustache eau de parfum are the top notes are pink pepper and mandarin orange the hard notes are atlas cedar and bulgarian rose and the base notes are benzoin vanilla and patchouli so i have this bottle for like a year now in my collection because Last summer I used to actually use it a lot when I went out at night. And believe it or not, I did not gain a single compliment with Rojas Moustache Eau de Parfum. It doesn't seem to project at all, like after a few hours it is gone. I mean. People complain about Isla Lora Tuxedo, but man, I gotta say, Rojas Moustache actually is weaker, at least on my skin. I showed it to a friend of mine, and I was like, what do you think of this fragrance? And she really had to dig her nose into my arm to smell it. And I oversprayed it as hell. I oversprayed it on myself, I oversprayed it on my whole arm, I oversprayed it on the jacket I had on. It feels like it lasts for a good six hours, which is totally okay for a cheapie like that, you just reapply. But it doesn't seem to project at all. I also don't seem to leave a sillage or anything. So, Rojas Moustache Eau de Parfum is kind of disappointing in my experience. Now that a year passed by and Rojas Moustache and Tuxedo, the kind of comparison, seems to get again a bit more of hype to just get myself a sample of Tuxedo. Since I literally cannot find a full bottle in Switzerland, it is like sold out everywhere. I don't know what Yves Saint Laurent is doing, but it seems like you really can only get Tuxedo in France. After the sample came in, I obviously had to do the comparison. I applied Tuxedo on my left hand and I applied Rojas Moustache on my right hand. I compared them side by side. I compared the projection, I compared how it smelled in the air and kind of everything. I just wanted to make sure which one is better. Because Rojas Moustache is a cheapie and in the dry down it smells really similar. 80 to 90% similar to Tuxedo. Isara Tuxedo felt a bit kind of fresher, more woodier and the rose note was a bit more prominent in my opinion. And it was also slightly spicier than Rojas Moustache. Rojas Moustache was a bit too well blended I would say because I at least was not able to pick up any kind of notes out of it. It was just very well blended so very well done but 
sometimes too much is too much, you know what I mean? It was just kind of dry, powdery, sweet and woody. It was also maybe a slightly floral that probably comes from the rose. But yeah, in general, I was able to kind of pick up more notes from Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. Tuxedo, in my opinion, is just smoother, it's just more refined, it's more sophisticated, the quality is better, you just get a better, I get a better feeling of Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. While Roja's moustache doesn't really feel very cheap, but if you compare them side by side, you really get that there are some quality differences. I heard from several people that Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo doesn't last at all and after trying it twice in like the same year i was like this is bullshit oh you see this guy see this guy number one bullshit guy it's bullshit it lasts it lasts even longer than roja's mustache at least on my skin i don't know like i have roja's mustache or the perfume a year in my collection so i was able to let it maturate for a year roja's mustache lasted for around six hours while Isla Laura Tuxedo almost hit the 8 hour mark. So after trying it, I definitely can say Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo is the better alternative in my opinion, even though Rojas Moustache is probably the better price value uh, kind of choice. Not only because I do not like to support clones, you know I do talk about clones when I think it is worth it, when I think the fragrance that got cloned is not worth the money, like Creedaventus. I will send you to Jesus. But in this case, you just have a kind of better price value option, but this doesn't make Issa Lora Tuxedo completely irrelevant in my opinion, because I do want the luxury feeling, that sophisticated and smooth feeling that Issa Lora's Tuxedo gives me that I don't get with Rojas Mustache. I just had better experience with this fragrance. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay healthy and we will see each other next time when you subscribe to my channel. I stay the same dude. The wisdom